AI is at the heart of a lot of developments in the telecom sector right now. And it's at the core of the AI RAN Alliance, a new industry group that was announced in February this year. Uh, one of the 11 founding members of the Alliance is SoftBank. And in August, Alex Choi, who is now Principal Fellow of the Japanese Operators Research Institute of Advanced Technology, was appointed as chair of the AI RAN Alliance. And I'm very pleased to say that we have Alex with us today. Uh, great to see you again, Alex. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, so to start, can you tell us about your new role at SoftBank and at the AI RAN Alliance? Sure. At SoftBank, I am engaged in promoting AI RAN Alliance activities as their um, chair and also the board member uh, from SoftBank. As you may know, I was a founding member of uh, ORAN Alliance and served uh, as its uh, chair until June this year. I believe the experience I gained there will be valuable in my role as the chair of the ORAN uh, AI RAN Alliance. In addition, I was the founding chair of a telecom infra project TIP when it was launched in, back in 2016. So going even further back, I was involved in the launch of 3GPP in 1998, participating from the beginning as a delegate of uh, TTA, Korea's uh, standard bodies. Personally, I feel that these uh, diverse experiences have given me a deeper understanding of the telecom network industry, and I hope this experience will be beneficial in my work with the AI RAN Alliance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that sounds like uh, an invaluable uh, resume for the, the role you have now. Um, so let's talk about the uh, alliance specifically. Uh, why does the telecom sector need another industry group? Uh, aren't many established industry bodies already working on the use of AI in the radio access network? Yeah, that's a very fair question. So currently, there are three organizations like uh, ORAN Alliance, 3GPP and TIP, and each of these organizations has taken a unique approaches. And they contribute to the industry's journey toward more intelligent, efficient, and AI-powered mobile networks. AI RAN Alliance was founded earlier this year at the Mobile World Congress Barcelona by 11 co-founders. So before I answer to your questions, let me give you some history of ORAN Alliance that I have chaired. As you know, there were 3GPP, Edge, and industry consortium called the CIPRI, being led by Ericsson and other leading vendors. And all of them tried, tried to hard to standardize the front hall interface. But only CIPRI consortium won the market. And CIPRI is not really a true open interface. So you can ask exactly the same question. Why creating a new industry alliance? ORAN Alliance, because neither 3GPP and CIPRI consortium have not done their job well. So, so the question, back to your questions. So why new industry alliance, AI RAN Alliance? So it's the same, same questions. So basically, um, we are driving the openness, innovation speed, and joint effort to driving the commercialization of AI RAN or um, RAN AI. That's why we set up AI RAN Alliance. And the mission of AI RAN Alliance is bridging the gap with the practical implementations, therefore accelerating the RAN AI innovation speed. So while the existing organizations have focused on specification and standard, we, AI RAN Alliance, is dedicated to providing practical implementation guidance for AI in RAN. Apparently, we, AI RAN Alliance, we are not SDO. You know, we are not the standard development organization. So AI RAN Alliance, our focus is more on creating implementation blueprints and benchmarking AI ML algorithms, offering the industry more detailed practical tools to accelerate the adoption of AI in RAN, that brings AI-driven solution to life in real-world scenarios. Okay, um, so if we can dig a little bit deeper, I mean, what is the Alliance uh, 
actually doing? Uh, I, I see from the, the website that it's already established uh, a few working groups. Yeah, exactly. We currently set up uh, three working groups. First, AI for Ren, and this group is uh, focused on exploring how AI ML technologies can be applied to improve REN performance, for example, spectrum management, traffic management and optimization, and energy optimization, etc. And the second working group, AI and REN, this working group is dedicated to developing a unified computing, REN computing platform that can run both AI and REN workloads concurrently. So their short-term focus is on GPU-based platform to handle the high computation needs of AI applications while simultaneously managing RAN function workload. The last one, AI on RAN working group, also we can call it a RAN AI, I mean the RAN for AI, and this group is exploring how AI applications such as Edge AI uh, and the real-time inferencing can be run effectively on REN infrastructure. So the goal here is to ensure that REN networks can support the needs of low latency AI applications, especially as use cases like uh, autonomous driving, smart cities, industrial IoT become more prevalent. So all these uh, three working groups are where the real innovation happens as they bring together experts from different parts of the ecosystem, network operator, vendors, and researchers to collaborate on specific AI solutions to ensure their practicality and scalability. Okay, um, and also recently there was an announcement uh, by some of the, the members of the Alliance uh, uh, centered on uh, T-Mobile US. Uh, what can we expect to see from the AI RAN Innovation Center uh, that was announced and which is going to be based at T-Mobile US's headquarters? The AI um, RAN Innovation Center at T-Mobile US is going to be an exciting development. To my knowledge, this center will act as a test bed and also incubation hub for cutting edge AI technologies in radio access network. And they said, T-Mobile has said in their announcement, their goal is to bring together startups, researchers, and industry experts to experiment and also validate AI-driven RAN solutions and bring their contributions to the Alliance to foster the ecosystems. So SoftBank and T-Mobile US are the only network operator members of the Alliance currently. So it seems like a bit of an exclusive club. Uh, how can the AI RAN Alliance make itself relevant to the whole network operator ecosystem? Yeah, while um, it is true, the SoftBank and T-Mobile US are the two founding operator members, but the Alliance is very much designed to be inclusive and open to all players in the whole ecosystems. So since it's a launch with 11 founding members, the number of new members has steadily increased. And we have now grown to 36 members. And with the membership application still coming in, we expect to grow to at least 100 members in the very near futures. Especially the applications from operators, I mean, new operators, have also been consistently submitted. And as of today, uh, five operators, additional operators, including my former company, SK Telecom, have already submitted their membership applications. So therefore, I believe the number of operators will continue to grow as the Alliance produce more uh, visible um, outcomes. Our mission is definitely to build a diverse and collaborative community from operators to vendors and vendors to researchers and uh, AI innovators. And uh, you mentioned the number of new companies joining the Alliance, uh, but NVIDIA is obviously playing a very key role in the Alliance. It was one of the founding members as well. 
Uh, but is the alliance also open to the likes of uh, AMD and Intel and other companies that are developing AI chips? My answer is uh, absolutely. You know, we already have uh, ARM as one of the co-founders uh, in addition to NVIDIA. So while I have to admit that NVIDIA has been a strong partner, particularly in the GPU space, the AI RAM Alliance is an open ecosystem. We are not exclusive to any single vendor. Both AMD Intel, as well as uh, other technology companies, definitely welcome to participate and bring their expertise and solutions to the table. AI 4N requires a range of technologies from GPU to CPU, CPU to MPU, MPU to any other customized uh, AI accelerators. And different companies have different strengths in different areas. So the Alliance goal is once again to be a vendor neutral, focusing on the best solutions for driving AI innovation in RAN. So we really look forward to expanding our ecosystem to include much wider range of technology partners as the AI RAN Alliance continues to grow and evolve. Okay, that's, uh, that's great to hear and uh, look forward to hearing about new names uh, joining the Alliance in the, in the near future. So Alex, it's been great talking with you today. Thanks very much for bringing us up to speed on developments at the AI RAN Alliance and uh, I look forward to chatting with you again in the near future. Thanks very much. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.